Hello! So today we are in the beautiful household of the Evans who have been my friends for many many years and I'm here today to cook them some really delicious food. So we're going to start off by making a Caribbean spiced coconut bread. So this bread has been kind of passed down through our family and it was my dad used to make it for me and my brother whenever we were younger and he just made it off the top of his head so he never used any measurements so this is the first time we're going to be using measurements today and not just handfuls. So the first step is that you're going to take your strong white bread flour and you're going to measure out 420 grams of it. So then you just want to pop your flour into your bowl and then you just want to add about one tablespoon of yeast which is roughly seven grams. Then you're just going to add two teaspoons of sugar to the flour and the yeast. And now this is all your dry ingredients and you're just going to give it a little stir. So you want everything to be really well mixed together. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to measure out 55 grams of butter and you're just going to pop it on the stove on a low heat to melt. So while your butter is melting you just want to measure out 250 milliliters of milk. So once your butter's melted you're just going to add it to your milk and on top of that you're going to add one teaspoonful of salt and then just give that a stir. Then you're just going to make a little well in your dry ingredients and just add in the wet ingredients in and then you're just going to gently stir from the outside in to bring the dough together. Then you're just going to stir all the wet and dry ingredients together till it forms a dough. So it'll be quite a sticky dough. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to flour your work surface and you're just going to bring the dough together with your hands and we're going to start to knead it. So you want to knead the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes until you've got a really smooth springy dough. So once you've finished your kind of 10 to 15 minutes of kneading, you just want to form it, the dough into a ball and you'll know that it's ready because it's nice and soft and springy. So then you're just going to put a little bit of oil, I'm just using a little bit of sunflower oil, on to a nice clean bowl. And this is where you're going to put your bread and then you're going to just going to leave it to rise and then you just want to put a little bit of oil on your bread so it doesn't stick to the bowl and either with a little bit of cling film or a dry tea towel you're just going to pop that over your bowl and you're going to leave it somewhere dry and warm to rise for about an hour or until the bread dough doubles in size. So while your bread is rising you can make the filling for the bread. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to measure out 50 grams of butter and you're just going to pop it on the stove at a low heat to melt. And then you're just going to measure out 150 grams of desiccated coconut and you're going to pop it into your bowl. And on top of that, you're going to measure out 100 grams of dark, soft brown sugar and add that in with your coconut. And then we're going to measure out our spices. So you're going to add one full teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of mixed spice, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And lastly, you just want to add a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And once you've got that all together, you're just going to give it a nice big stir to combine it. And then you're just going to measure out 100 grams of dark brown soft sugar. And then you're just going to pop your brown sugar in on top of your coconut. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your melted butter and just mix it in with your coconut and sugar and spices. So now that you've left your bread for about an hour, it should be doubled in size. And we're just going to flour the work surface before we turn the bread out onto it. And now what we're going to do is, because I'm going to make a plaited bread, we're going to divide this bread into three. So you want to divide it into three equal bits of bread. So you're just going to flour the bread and give it a little knead again. And you're going to roll it out into a long roll. So once you've done this, you're just going to flour your rolling pin and you're just going to roll the bread out. So you want to get the bread about um, a centimetre thick, so not too thick, quite thin. So now you're just going to melt 50 grams of butter. We're just going to use this butter to seal up the bread. So now once you've rolled out your bread, you're just going to take your melted butter and you're going to spread your melted butter all along the middle of the bread making sure that you get absolutely every part right out to the edges. Once you've spread the melted butter on your bread, you're just going to take your coconut mixture and you're going to put a little bit all over the bread. 
So you want it absolutely everywhere, all over the bread and just leave a little bit of a gap at either side so that whenever we roll it into a roll, that there's enough just to seal it up. So you just wanna get a nice even spread of it over the bread and have left about a centimeter around the side so that we've got enough to roll in and pinch in at either end. And then just pinch along and pinch in either end so you get a nice tight sealed up roll. So once you've got your nice tight roll of bread, you're just gonna take it and set it on your baking tray to one side. And you're gonna do the exact same thing with your other two rolls. So you've got three long bits of dough with lots of yummy spices inside ready to plait. So now that you've got your three bits of bread all really nicely rolled with your spices inside, we're gonna plait them. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the top three bits of your bread and you're just gonna press them together and tighten all the dough in so that they're all connected up the top and then we're going to plait it so really simple braid and you can readjust it as you go so it kind of as you need to and when you get to the end just pinch all three bits of dough together so the last thing you're going to do before your bread goes into the oven is that you're just going to cover it with a nice clean tea towel and you're going to pop it somewhere really nice and warm for half an hour just to give it one last rise so while your spicy coconut bread is doing its last rise you just want to pop the oven on to 190 degrees. So now that you've left your bread for half an hour, and it's got nicely puffed up, it's ready to go into the oven. So you're just going to pop it into the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes until it's golden brown and whenever you give it a little tap, it's on color. So now just before you get your bread out of the oven, the last thing we're going to do is make a whiskey glaze, it's a little Irish twist on this Caribbean bread. So you're gonna get a third of a cup of sugar and you're gonna pop and it along with that, you just wanna add about a quarter cup and then you're gonna take up water as well and pop it in along with it. So along with that, you wanna add about a quarter cup of water as well. And now you're just gonna put this on the stove at a low heat until it's really well reduced and a nice sticky glaze. So while it's on the stove, bread. every now and again, you just wanna give it a little stir so that all the sugar combines with the whiskey and melts in. So once your bread's been in the oven for about 40 minutes, it should be golden brown. And whenever you tap it, it should be hollow. So you should have that nice hollow sound and that means your bread's ready. So now you want to take your bread and just hop it onto a wire cooling rack and let it cool. So now while your bread's still hot, we want to glaze it with that beautiful whiskey glaze that we made earlier. So now that your whiskey glaze is really nice and reduced, we're ready to glaze the bread. So now that your bread's still hot, you just want to take a little bit of that glaze and start to spread it onto the bread using your brush. So you want to be really generous whenever you're glazing your bread. So you really want to get everywhere nice and glazed. So once your bread is nice and cool, you can cut it up. Or if like me, you can't wait, you can cut it up while it's warm. Now that you've got your bread all ready to go, I'm just going to cut it up and share it out with the Evans family who are very deserving of it. Thanks for watching. Click on our logo to watch more videos and subscribe.